What is up guys? Welcome back today to another video on this channel. Hope you're all doing amazing, fantastic and in today's video, well, we're going to be finishing up the Hunger Games series with the Hunger Games Mockingjay. Of course, I'm going to mention right at the start, now major motion picture. So, an amazing, fabulous book, an end to a fabulous series. So let's jump right into the magical world of the Hunger Games. Which is a total metaphor. Don't jump into the Hunger Games. It's scary. L let's go! Before we jump into the video, it takes a long time to make these videos and come up with scripts for these videos. So it's super appreciated if you take the time out to go down and subscribe. Sometimes YouTube glitches out and unsubscribes you. So make sure that you're subscribed. With that being said, head to the video. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. The Hunger Games Mockingjay, the third and final book in the Hunger Games series. Yup, it's finally going to end the entire Hunger Games saga, which we have been carrying on on this channel in the past two videos. So let's jump into the back of the book. Where is where, how we start all of our videos, obviously. My name is Katniss Everdeen. We're again going to be locking on to the hero of the series, Katniss Everdeen. Why am I not dead? I should be dead. That's, that's pretty pessimistic. You stay optimistic. You're not dead. That's a good thing, right? You're not dead. Yeah? Katniss Everdeen, girl on fire, has survived even though her home has been destroyed. They are rebels. They are new leaders. A revolution is, is unfolding. It is by design that Katniss was rescued from the arena in the cruel and haunting quarter quell. And it is by design that she has long been part of the revolution without knowing it. District 13 really does exist. And now it has come out of the shadows and is plotting to overthrow the capital. Everyone, it seems, has had a hand in the carefully laid plans except Katniss. So this paragraph basically tells us that she was sent into the quarter quells and rescued out of it uh, for an operation which took part in District 13 which was supposedly bombed by the capital to show the capital's strength. So everything that happened to her in the past book was a carefully laid out plan to rescue her. Now she doesn't have a problem with being rescued. I mean, who would, yeah? yeah? But I'm assuming obviously someone who says that she should be dead probably has a problem with being rescued as well. I don't know. So anyway, she's just annoyed at them for rescuing her, laying out a massive plan in a district that was not supposed to exist but does and has state-of-the-art equipment and military gear without her knowledge. Everyone has a hand in the plans. Everyone knows about it. Her best friend Gail, her mentor Hamish, even the head game maker of the Hunger Games. Even he is the leader of the revolution. Even he knew about the revolution that was unfolding and they had already chosen Katniss as their symbol without her consent. She had no idea that this was happening. The success of the rebellion hinges on Katniss's willingness to be a pawn. Reference to a pawn in the chess board, obviously, because pawns are usually sacrificed for the greater good. To accept responsibility for countless lives and to change the course of the future of Panem. To do this, she must put aside her feelings of anger and distrust. She must become the rebel's Mockingjay, no matter what the personal cost. So the title Mockingjay is a very smart title. This is a callback to the first book in which um, Katniss explains that Mockingjays are actually a hybrid species. Well, it was basically the capital had created mutations one of which were the Jabber Jays, a type of bird that flies into the enemy territory, can hear them talking, and then come back and play those recordings back. So they were able to come to know about the plans until the enemies finally figured out about these birds and started sending total lies, total, complete, utter nonsense to the capital to make them go in the wrong direction. And it worked. It worked for a long time until the capital decommissioned these birds and they were left to go out in the wild to die, except they didn't die. They mated with female mockingbirds and formed mockingjays, animals who can't actually replicate human sound but are super, super intelligent and are able to uh, recognize and recreate audio effects. So if someone is singing, they can recreate that in a tune and change it however they want. They're basically like DJs, DJ birds. That's why it's mockingjay, get it? DJ plus mockingbird. Just, just stop. stop. 
don't listen to my bad puns. Now to the reviews of this book. Uh, the trilogy channels the political passion of 1984, the memorable violence of A Clockwork Orange, the imaginative ambience of The Chronicles of Narnia, and the detailed inventiveness of Harry Potter. The New York Times book review. Now, out of this, I only got the ambience of The Chronicles of Narnia and the detailed inventiveness of Harry Potter because The Chronicles of Narnia is a series which I have read and Harry Potter, obviously. But I haven't read the memorable violence of a clockwork orange. A clockwork orange, if anyone has read these books, please explain to me down below. And the uh, channels of channels the political passion of 1984. So the 1984 and a clockwork orange. If you've read that, the comment section is all yours. Please help me out. Fans will be happy to hear that Mocking Jay is every bit as complex and in imaginative as Hunger Games, said by Entertainment Weekly. Which, they're right in saying, it is super, super imaginative, inventive, nothing changed, nothing gets boring, super awesome. This finale is every bit the pressure cooker of its forebears. Wow, the Los Angeles type, well, that just says for itself, isn't it? Written by Suzanne Collins, so let's jump into a brief, extremely brief uh, summary of the entire book where I will compress it down, give you zero spoilers, and you can still understand the gist of the book. Like I mentioned, Katniss now has to be a rebel leader a symbol for everyone to reunite around. She's ha she has to be the Mockingjay. Basically, the Mockingjay is a symbol where all the rebels have to combine and form a large group to fight against the cavalry. She's going to be the head symbol, but worst part is, she's not equivalent to a leader. A leader has to go into battlefield himself, has to prove himself or herself. She, on the other hand, is just a symbol. She is to be protected at all costs and not led into any action. Which, let's be honest, she doesn't want at all. So she really wants to go into action, so she keeps asking for that. On the other hand, Peter has been taken into the capital's control and is being tortured like hell. So let's quickly go through an extremely brutal event that happened with Peter in the prison. So this, this section from here and a little bit forward, I'm just going to be talking a lot about blood and death. So you can skip that if you don't want to hear that. I mean, yeah, okay. So first of all, what's happening to Peter is he's being beaten brutally. Screaming, torturing, and that kind of stuff. But also, uh, he saw two more avoxes. Now, what are avoxes? Yeah, it's kind of kind of gruesome. People whose tongues have been cut off so that they can't speak because they've made a crime. So their tongues are removed so they can't speak and they're going to be servants for life. But two avoxes actually knew Katniss and they were being tortured in front of Peter. So one was a girl. Who was uh, whom they poured water on top of and just strapped her to an electric chair. And electricity plus water equal boom, boom. So yeah, she died immediately, her heart stopped. And the second one was a boy, Darius, I believe. He was tortured extremely horribly to unhing unhinge Peter. His limbs were cut off, he was uh, hung up, his, his just limbless body hung up on the walls. He couldn't speak, his uh, tongue had been chopped off and they kept asking him questions knowing that he couldn't speak. So he kept making these horrible animal sounds which Peter used to hear, these gurgling sounds from deep within his throat and his limbs were cut off, blood, until he died absolutely brutally. So these are the horrors of the capital and it's absolutely horrifying how Susan Collins has described it in the book. Horrifying, terrifying and I didn't have nightmares, no, I didn't. I'm looking at you. I didn't have any nightmares. So Peter is also being subjected to a form of torture known as hijacking. Now, hijacking, as a common term right now we know, is when you take control of something in its most basic form, uh, the definition which I can give. So when you take control of something, you hijack it against the will of the person who owns it. So Peter's body has been hijacked. He's been made to hate Katniss. His memories are disorientated. He doesn't know where he is, who he is what he's done in the past, all he knows that he has to kill Katniss and she's some kind of mutation like the Mockingjays. So his mind has gone extremely unhinged, Gail and Katniss are together but not giving each other any type of comfort, uh, Peter is still among them though he hates Katniss until the end of the book, it just gets horrible and horrible. So, so this book was quite violent, it was filled with blood and gore all left, right and center, Snow had done his evil deeds, the rebels had done the evil deeds, Everything just went downhill, downhill, downhill. 100% ages, 15 above, and I'm stupid because I'm 14 and I read it. So, no, you can read it. If you're 14, you can read it. It's fine. 
So this book again has 390 pages of pure awesomeness and coincidentally the previous book which was uh, Catching Fire had only 391 pages. That's one page more than the next book. So that's kind of coincidental. Maybe it's not coincidence. I think not. On that note, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like to show your support. It really helps me out and helps me, encourages me to make more videos like this. While you're at it, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching this video. Super appreciate that you clicked on it. And I'm gonna like uh, free my mind of those horrible, torturous things. So I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do right now. It's, it's in my head. Save me. <laughs> Bye.